So we're at the launch of the brand new 2024 Qashqai here in Portugal and uh, there were a couple of presentations last night from the team at Nissan and I thought it would be quite interesting actually to just upload uh, those presentations and there's two separate ones. So the first of those um, is actually an overall thing about what Nissan are uh, doing in terms of their plans for ICE and EVs etc etc. If you recall, the boss of Nissan uh, was last year, he said that every new EV that would be launched in Europe, or every new Nissan that would be launched in Europe would be an EV. Um, however, when they look at the pl presentation was for EMEA, so it was a bit more global. And there are, they did, for example, say that there were 16 new EVs coming by 2026, but there were also 14 ICE cars coming by 2026. And also these, these are e-power. So these are not entirely EV, Oh, they drive, they drive like electric cars, but they're e-power, so they're actually range extender hybrids uh, of a kind. So it'd be interesting to see what they actually said in terms of their plans, but also the future in terms of the technology and the development and what they're doing. And there's a lot of talk about the next generation of battery technology. And it seems that Nissan, as they were quite ahead with the Leaf, are also now ahead with the next generation of batteries. They are already doing a lot of work on the solid state batteries which will be safer, quicker to charge and have longer range and cheaper. And they reckon they'll be putting them into production fairly soon. So have a look at this, see what you think. It's interesting stuff. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, real pleasure to see you all. As, as Neil said, so I'm I'm vice president for for powertrain development, um, based in actually based in, in Barcelona. But uh, good to see you all here today. So the first thing I, I want to go through is I want to explain a little bit about the global activity that we're doing and related to Arc. Um, this has been this has been announced, and and Arc is really a transformation from from Nissan Next to. Uh, uh, Nissan's Ambition 2030, where we go uh, full electrified. Now, Nissan Next has been working really well. We've, you know, we've delivered some great cars, Qashqai, X-Trail and Aria. And what we've done is we've delivered those in a real uh, value setting. And we've really um, uh, managed the, the, the profit and, and, and the finances of the situation very well. However, it hasn't been a period uh, for volume growth. And what we want to do in the arc is we really want to keep that that kind of financial discipline, but we want to grow the volume. And we want to grow the volume globally by a million units. So it's a big challenge that we've got for the arc. And how are we going to do that? We're going to we're going to have the right products and we're going to have the right technology in the market so that we can really increase that volume. And we're going to deliver 30 new um, vehicles to the market over that period and you can see here 16 of those vehicles are going to be EV vehicles or, or electrified vehicles and 14 are going to be ICE and when we look at the share uh, globally you can see about 20% of that is is EV and 20% uh, is e-power or hybrid but when we look at Europe and we know Europe is moving quicker then we can see over 40% is going to be EV and 75% is going to be electrified. So it's really moving um, quickly. But we know that we need the, the different technologies available. And, and even in Europe, we can see country by country, the situation is different. Some, some countries are moving very quickly to EV, others are, are slower. And even within countries, you know, if you live in an urban area or in a, in a rural area, your needs are different. And really what we're trying to do is have all the powertrains available, you know, for those different uh, environments. So really it, it's, a, it's, a, it's making sure that we can cover all of the requirements uh, for the customer. If we focus down really into the Europe uh, situation, then we're going to deliver six more um, six more projects uh, over the, the next three years, six new models, and 40% of them are going to be uh, electrified or, or EV. But also, you know, we've seen the success of ePower in the market. It's great in Qashqai and in, in Xtrail as well. And we're going to continue to develop that. And we're going to we're going to have the next generation of, of, of e-power, which is going to have 
more performance and, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But also we're looking at other of the revenue streams that we can look at, um, additional services uh, for for the customers and uh, uh, additional uses of the, the technologies, the battery uh, technologies as, that we have as well. But that's all really driving uh, that increased volume and across the MAO re region, we're expecting to increase by 300,000 units. So it's a really big challenge for the MAO region. Looking at ePower, as I said, you know, it's, it's a, it's a great product. We've already sold a thousand, a hundred thousand units in, in Kashkai and it's doing really well. But we, we, we know we need to, to, to keep the competitiveness of that powertrain. So we're working on that now. The team's working really hard and we've got some really good improvements that are coming. So improving the power, improving the fuel consumption and reducing that cost. And that cost is really important so we can keep the, the parity with, or, or get to the parity with the ice engines so that we can drive that volume as well. And it's a big challenge for the volume. We're looking at getting over half a million e-powers in the future. So it's it's a big challenge, but we think with the, the way the technology is going and the acceptance in the market that it's, it's really possible to do that. But, Another technology which is coming, which is, is really important, and I think it's a real game changer, is all solid, solid state batteries. And, you know, with these batteries, then you can see here that the time to charge is going to be reduced by 50%, and the energy density is going to be improved by 50% as well. And also what we see with this technology is the cost of the battery uh, coming down very quickly. So this is really going to push um, EV technology and help to push EV to, to the mass market. And, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a pipe dream, it's... it's an activity we've been working on uh, for four years. You know, Nissan were, pione were a pioneer in the in the EV in the mass market, and we really believe we're going to be a pioneer with uh, all solid state batteries as well. Um, and I, I was in Japan um, earlier this year, and I saw the the, the prototype uh, production. I saw them actually building and, and testing the batteries and doing the durability test. And I saw the area where they're going to be doing the, the pilot line as well. And it's all, it's all progressing. And the plan is within two years that we have vehicles in the market being driven by solid state batteries and then mass production from, from 2028. So it's really moving quickly. I think it's a really exciting technology and it's really going to deliver the, the you know, reduce the price, make EVs available for the mass market. But also we're, we're looking at how the EV ecosystem uh, works as well. You know, with Sunderland, we have the, the EV360, uh, where we have a microgrid, we have renewable energy, and we, 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 we transfer that to the plant uh, to reduce the carbon footprint. And we're really looking how we can do that on a smaller scale in people's homes, you know, with, with solar energy, balancing the requirements of the, of the grid, and using the, the, the EV um, battery to, to balance that situation. And it's a real, it's a real opportunity uh, for the future v2x and v2 grid and we're gonna we're working on that now we've got some some uh, some test uh, activities ongoing and we're going to come back and explain a bit more detail about that to you um, in the future but the next part I want to talk about is is silence and you've seen the cars and the bikes outside and this is a really interesting uh, you know as part of the of the arc we're talking about strategic partnerships and and the issue here is you know there's no silver bullet on on how to solve uh, the issues in the market and we see you know some some of the, the new technologies that are coming and we think that they're going to be really good in the market we don't have the funding to, to to develop everything but we can have some great strategic partnerships and i think the one with silence is a really is a really smart one for how we can Put something into our into our lineup which we don't have today, and would take a long time um, to develop. So, Silence, you know, have this this nano car. You've seen it outside, and we really believe it will be good for for young customers and help them, you know, entry into their into their EV journey. And basically, Nissan will distribute the Silence products through our current uh, dealer network, um, and we're expanding that across Europe. 
And Silence is a really, it's a really interesting company. It's a startup company. You know, it's only uh, 10 years young, as you can see here. Um, and it's got some really, uh, really good innovation. Uh, one item is, is obviously the battery that pulls out, which means, you know, you can do battery swaps, or if you can't charge on the street, then you can take the battery out and charge at home or charge at work. So it's really giving, you know, a unique uh, selling point uh, for the customer. But, but the company is also, you know, backed by some big companies. Action has, is, uh, you know, a big uh, industrial uh, organization. So it's, it's got good backing and it's a uh, really good uh, technology and it's going to fill uh, a, a really important part in the market. And, and we see some, some good opportunities with working uh, with Simons. <coughs> So really, this is this is my last slide, and this is looking at you know where we are as an organisation, and, and and what's our kind of motto is is defying defy ordinary. And I think oh, you know, sorry to interrupt. Are you enjoying the video? Well, make sure you've punched the like button. It helps. Right. So in this presentation, you will have heard the presenter talking about um, Nissan's strategic partnership alliance with Silence, and these are the vehicles that they were talking about. So you've got this scooter. Um, and here are the details of the scooter. You can see that. The scooter there, you've got the battery pack that comes out of the car, which is that bit there. So you can see you can just pull that out and take that away with you. But that's actually not unusual for e electric scooter, these scooters. Um, uh, quite a few of them have that. Here are the charging stations. So I suppose you could have one of these installed in your garage or at home or something like that and just be able to charge that. Here's another one. But you also get it for this. And this, I think, is a unique thing. So this is like, um, I suppose Nissan are doing this partnership because they don't have a Citroen Amy, for example. Now, these things will go on sale in Europe, I think in France, Belgium, uh, first, because uh, that's where, you know, you have that allowance for people, youngsters without licenses, to be able to drive them. We don't technically have that in the UK. Um, although they did say UK price of 12 to 15, uh, 14,000 pounds for these. Um, but in the UK, I think you need at least a bike license before you can drive one of these. But the, this is what it is. is it is actually a two-seater, believe it or not. It is absolutely tiny. And again, I'll try and put this, some of the specs and stuff on the screen. But it is absolutely tiny. It's very cute. It, it looks like it could be quite a lot of fun. There you go, silence. That's what it says there. Um, there's nobody here at the moment. And I'm sure that they are locked. Oh, we'll set off an alarm now, but you can see inside that there are actually two seats, but it is very cozy. They are small seats and it is very cozy. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if and when these come to the UK. Maybe we can get a drive in them. Maybe we can give you a little bit more details. Let me know if you'd like to know more about these cars and uh, we'll try and find out a little bit more about the silence cars not so much the scooters unless you really want me to but probably the cars is what i would be interested in check this out guys it's my book it's my first novel and it's written for car fans like you it's a fun political action thriller it's full of cool cars and spectacular action get your copy now at amazon.com shout out time guys thank you so much hey if you enjoy my content why not get involved buy me a coffee you can do that at either of these links or if you're watching on youtube buy me a thanks or take out a membership it all helps it really does